If you're looking for plenty of entertaining space and luxurious accommodations, well, you found it. This light and strong power catamaran will take you and your guests from here to paradise. Welcome aboard the Aquila 42 yacht. My name is Leslie Nafusi, and I'll be your guide as we walk through and learn more about the Aquila 42 yacht. But to answer the tough questions, I'm joined by Elaine Ross, Aquila brand manager. Hi, Elaine. Hi, welcome aboard, Leslie. Thanks. Great to have you. Yeah, this is the all new Aquila 42 yacht special edition, hull number one. Elaine, tell me, where does this fit in, the 42? Where does it fit in amongst the Aquila line? Yeah, so one of the developments of Aquila has always been to develop a range or a set of range of boats or yachts in this case um, that a family or a young couple can grow up through, mm -hmm. um, through the generations. And this is our entry level into the yacht range. So in the yacht range, we've now got the Aquila 42 yacht, the 44 yacht and 54 yacht and the 70 luxury. So perfect for young families, perfect for even a retired couple. Yes. Really everyone in between. I mean, hey, I wouldn't mind being aboard one of these for a long period of time. Uh, tell me why, Elaine, the aft deck, which we're on right now, is the place where everything's going to happen. Yeah, this is a great entertainment and social zone. So there's lots of space for everyone from the huge aft sponsons to the, to the swim platform or dinghy platform. Um, there's just a lot of room for everybody, even where we're sitting here with the window opening up and we've got our bar top and it's just a really great entertainment area on board. I do love the flow. I love that you can be in the galley and still feel like you're part of the party, which is really important. Tell me more about the lighting, about the seating. What else do you see here? Yeah, so in the aft cockpit, we've got a lovely bench settee with a aft cockpit table, perfect for alfresco dining. Again, we've got our bar top here. Um, seating wise, plenty of room for six across the uh, bench seating. Um, two here, and then if you've got side chairs, um, you can fit easy another uh, three to four people around the table. So that's a lot of people in a in a 42 foot yacht. I can picture many many beautiful evenings out here. It's Absolutely, lovely. yeah. But there's so much more to see. Uh, a lot of cup holders, might I add, and we'll point those out as we go. Yes. But let's go into the salon because I have some questions in there for you. Sure, okay. let's go on. Elaine, as we enter this beautiful salon, I'm struck immediately by this spacious kitchen and all of the storage. It's absolutely amazing. But before we get to that, tell me how this bar area works. Yeah, it's a great aspect. Very simple operation. Behind the bar top here, we've got two levers. I've got one that's already done. Second one, simply reach in, lift up. It's on piston hinges, so it just lifts up. And we've got a safety latch on the countertop and we lower down. And voila, you got a great bar top for entertaining and opening up this, opening up the salon. Beautiful, easy, smooth operation, which I love. I love the fresh air coming in. It's so gorgeous. But what I need in a galley is space. And this, I feel I have a lot of storage just for all the food and cups and glasses. Uh, tell me what else we're looking at in this galley. Yeah, well, one of the main things, features that you're going to see right away is, is the large salon windows, which really bring in your natural lights and the environment from outside, inside. On top of that, you've got almost a 360 degree view around the boat and the salon seat um, when you're sitting at the dining table. You're, you're perfectly situated at the height that you want to be able to take advantage of that scenery around you when you're at anchor or in this case, when we're at a dock. So you get those views really wherever you are on yeah. the 42, you're getting those beautiful views. Um, might I point out the beautiful microwave, two cooktop induction stove chop, and also an oven. Yes. Which is amazing. Yes. Will I ever use the oven? Yes, That's the you question. Will. <laughs> <laughs> if you like to cook like I do, then, I do. then this large counter space that we've done on the special edition for the owners of hall number one, 
really can take advantage of that aspect. It's the attention to detail that I really love. But when it comes to indoor entertaining, tell me about the rest of the salon. Yeah, so forward on the starboard side, we've got a great salon table, which folds down or converts down into, into a bed with a filler cushion. So if you have extra company on board, perfect place to put them. Um, forward on port, we've got a navigation station, which has got your VHF, your Bluetooth or your fusion entertainment system and your primary control for your C-Zone. It's wonderful. And the TV comes down from here. So the yeah. whole family, even if you converted this to a bed, the whole family can pile on and watch a movie. Exactly. Lovely. So if it is that. chilly, wherever you're boating, a perfect place to curl up on the couch and what, take in a movie. And enjoy the views as well. Yeah. And I noticed the Aquila 42 doesn't have that full beam owner's cabin. What are you doing with that space? Yeah, so that's a question that comes up quite often is, is, is the 42 yacht replacing the Aquila 44? And the simple answer is no. This is a very different uh, layout to the Aquila 44 by design. So on the port side uh, hull or sponson, we've got our owner's cabin rather than the full beam in in the bow and in place of the full beam master cabin or owner's cabin we've what we are referring to is the utility cabin so we've got a single bunk in there with a ton of storage and then washer dryer if you choose that option and it's just really a great place um, for a smaller cabin i even noticed an extra wine refrigerator in the utility cabin which i thought was a really yes. nice touch so extra sleeping space extra storage space washer dryer combination yeah, that you choose. And, and I would just uh, continue on that. There are various layouts in this in the 42 yacht. So this is your base version is your two cabin plus your utility cabin. And then believe it or not, we actually have a three cabin with ensuite head in each cabin. And then we have a four cabin version with three ensuite heads. Wonderful, I love it. Let's take a look at the primary stateroom. Yes, let's go. As we head down to the primary stateroom, what are some things I can expect to see? Well, first and foremost, you're going to see that the view continues through these extra large port side windows. It does. Wow, it's beautiful here. A lot of space and a lot of storage. I see cabinets. I see a full closet and drawers. Yep. And a really nice feature, a vanity, complete with a mirror. You can sit here. You can do your makeup in peace. You can even close the door and That's shut everybody right. out. Yeah. <laughs> which I love. Uh, tell me about the head. I see a lot of space in there as well. Yeah, it's a great head. Uh, really one of my favorite aspects of it is you've actually got a built-in rain shower. So um, it really just brings a class, a certain level of class to it when you're in there. Everyone loves a good rain shower at home and why not on a boat? Exactly, and I love that we're on the 42, but it's every detail, every luxury that you would expect from Aquila has yeah. been brought onto the 42, so I really appreciate that. Yeah, they've really done a good job, whether it's storage or the, the vanity, of, as you pointed out, or the little nooks and crannies that you have um, when you're in bed, being able to control your uh, climate control, your air conditioning or your heat if you're in cold climate, uh, simply leaning over from your position in bed and being able to push the dials and, and set it in place. So they really spend a lot of time focusing on the details of the build, which is uh, stands out in the 42 yacht. It really does. And I also want to point out this really sleek writing space, a little desk yeah. to get some work done, um, concentrate on your thoughts. And so it's, it's everything that you need is here. I yes. just love it. Thank you. Aquila has really not missed any amenity, which I really appreciate. But right. I, what I appreciate more is a beautiful primary head. So I'm going to take a closer look at that. Okay. I will be right back. Elaine, the first thing I realized about the primary head, it's super wide, yes. which is great. You do not feel enclosed at all. And I have cabinets to my left. I have double cabinets to my right, a beautiful modern sink. But the best part is this amazing spacious shower with the rainfall above and a seat. How lovely is that? Amazing. I love it. Yeah, there's a lot of space in there. So they've really done an excellent job taking full advantage of the space. Let's go look at the guest state. I think that's a great idea, okay. Leslie. Elaine, the guest accommodations are also really spacious. Yes, they are. They've done carried over similar to the owner's cabin or primary cabin. They've carried similar detail throughout. So it really makes you feel like uh, you're part of the boat and you have this beautiful view looking out through these large hall windows. 
I noticed a lot of light in here and even a skylight, which is really, really a nice touch. Yeah. Also, you know what I noticed? What's uh, that? USB ports all around us. Yes. Tell me about the electronics and uh, the state of the art technology that's on the Aquila 42. Yeah, so on board, it's uh, the boat, basically the brains behind the boat is Cezanne control system. We still have our standard rotary dial system, um, but it's coupled in with Cezanne. So it makes utilization of using the electronics pretty simple for uh, the majority of people. Um, you can really dive in to the nuts and bolts of the entire boat if you wanted to, if you wanted to take it that far. But from a simplistic standpoint, it's easy. Come in, you hold your finger on the, similar to your iPhone, you hold your finger on the button until it beeps and the boat comes to life. So really simple to use and a great feature that I find on all the Aquilas now. That's wonderful. And it's nice that we're able to have this conversation in the guest stateroom with yeah. all this space. We're very comfortable in here. And it also has a private head as well. Yes. It's a really nice touch. Yes. The private head in the guest cabin will also kind of be your day head if you do have guests on board because the owners obviously don't want to, uh, tend to not want their uh, guests coming or visitors on board using their, their head. So they'll come and use this generally as a day head also. I really love how the Aquila 42 lends itself to a young growing family, to an older retired couple, as we mentioned before, but really anybody who loves to be on the water for long periods of time or just a day cruise, the Aquila 42 works. It's yes. beautiful. Yeah, and she's calm. I mean, we're in calm waters now, but you're not gonna get the rocking and rolling that you would on some other monohull type boats. And that's the advantage really of the catamaran as you're planted and stable. It's beautiful. Well, we still have to explore the flybridge and all of the amenities up there. So why don't we take a look? Yeah. As we head up to the flybridge, tell me a little bit about how we get up there. Yeah, there's two great access points as we're coming around now into the aft cockpit. You'll see we've got our access stairs from the aft cockpit. But if you are, I happen to be on the foredeck, um, you have your bridge to bow stairs that you can directly access the flybridge. So two access points, very easy to get to. Very easy and nice wide stairs as well. Yes. As we head up here, Elaine, what I really notice and love is all of this entertaining space. Yeah, it's a big space, um, taking full advantage of the beam of the flybridge and filled it up. So great place to entertain. This is where the party is happening, yeah. right up here. Yeah. And I could just see with all of this space, how comfortable your guests would be and how they can spread out and really enjoy themselves. And we have some cooking space as well. Yes, absolutely. Nice outdoor kitchen. Beautiful. Some of the nice features about this is that when you are grilling out, you're able to communicate with your guests on board or your family. Um, you have easy access to the table. And as you mentioned, tons of uh, cup holders for your drinks. So really a great place to have fun. The perfect amount of cup holders. Yeah. Uh, tell me about this table because I know that there's, there's some options here. So sometimes you may not uh, need this entire table at a single time and you want to be able to get easy access to your bench seating at the back. So this is actually a fill in leaf that on that you can unclasp and then it tucks away. So in that case, if you are grilling or you don't need this leaf up and you're just traveling, you have easy access into your bench seating. So it just makes it a lot more convenient to get to the seating on the boat. Another great detail yeah. on the Aquila 42. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So let's talk a little bit about the helm. Yeah, it's a great helm. So very ergonomic. Um, what, obviously, you've got your instrument cluster, your Raymarine. MFD, you've got your throttle controls, your Volvo Penta engine display, and then you've got tactile buttons for your lighting and additional lighting interior as well as your navigation lighting. So overall, just a very ergonomic use of space. Um, Aquila really paid close attention to this because what we wanted to do was really focus on a couple um, if they're cruising. And obviously, if you sit here, you've got bolstered seating that folds down. It's plenty wide enough for everyone. Um, you also have a nice little chaise lounger next to you. So if you are a couple with a young child, perfect place for them to sit and take advantage of the view again. But as you can see, plenty wide. It's really a great spot. It is. 
light and strong were words I used at the beginning of this walkthrough. Tell me a little bit about handling the Aquila 42. She is a very easy boat to handle. So the designers of VPLP out of France really paid special attention to the design of the hull. Um, that correlates to a steady footprint on the water, which makes handling very simple. We've got a single bow thruster and then two powerful engines in the back. So, um, and it's catamaran, so you can literally spin her around on a dime. And she's an easy boat to handle. So um, very, very good handling boat. Easy to handle, sleek and modern. Yep. I'm in love. <laughs> let's take a walk down the Portuguese flybridge. Okay, let's go. I notice immediately that there's plenty of bow seating, Elaine, and might I say bow, bow lounging. Yeah. With these beautiful sun pads. And I understand they flip up? That's correct. So on the back, we've got a just a little quick handle, and then we've got a uh, a backrest that folds out so you will be able and then wedges in so you can sit with a very nice angle posture looking out over the bow while you're underway. Super comfortable. Yes, and very lots comfortable. Of space here and beautiful views, of course. Where does this lead? Ah, this, so this is a secret locker. So, no, but in all seriousness, so in the base boat version, um, which is a two cabin plus a utility cabin. What the designers and what Aquila really wanted to do for those individuals that were wanted to do regional cruising or even long distance cruising, this boat is CE certified, so certainly capable of very long distance cruising and liveaboards. So something that always comes up if you're living aboard or doing any long distance cruising is where do I store my toys? Where do I store my non-perishable items, my extra parts for the boat, fluids, so on and so on. And so we wanted to create that space um, that was available for owners to be able to store all that rather than in your cupboards in the interior or just having stuff in your engine room, which isn't ideal to store stuff. So that's what this locker is. Um, I'll go ahead and open it up and we can take a peek inside, but it's a very generous locker. And uh, as you can see, we've got stairs going down, um, lots of storage in there uh, for your toys or non-perishable items. We even have a cooler in there that can double as a freezer. So it's just a dial dial one that you can uh, make cold or actually turn into a freezer box. So really great for cruising, um, ample storage space for spare parts, um, fluids, props, you know, you name it. So those items are really important to you when you're going long distance cruising or even regional cruising. So we've got the beautiful lounging space, extra storage, everything you need on the bow. Yeah. It's beautiful. Why don't we head back to the aft deck? Sure. Elaine, I want to congratulate Aquila on really checking off all the boxes that make a luxury yacht. Yeah, the design team from BPLP and Sino Eagle or Aquila, they've uh, done a fantastic job really taking all the things that they've learned or we've learned over the years and incorporating that into a really appreciative 42 foot long power catamaran. And where can we learn more about the Aquila line? You can visit us at aquilaboats.com. If you're in the United States, you can visit any of the Marine Max stores. If you're international, many of the countries around the world, you can visit one of our international dealers. Okay, go to aquilaboats.com and find your paradise today.